Today we are looking at the Hangul class diesel electric attack submarines. They are the future submarines of the Pakistan Navy and being built jointly by China and Pakistan. The Hangul class is a modified version of the Chinese Type 039B submarine, a version that is designed for export. Just to be aware, because the Hangul class is under construction, most of the photos in this video will be the Chinese Type 39B. A total of eight submarines are expected to be delivered to the Pakistan Navy between 2023 and 2028. In the early 2000s, the Pakistan Navy wanted to expand its submarine force, which at the time consisted of five of the French Agosta class. The Agosta class, while capable, was designed in the 1970s, and its systems and weapons are becoming quite old, and the Navy was in need of new submarines. Pakistan approached France again, and Germany. The French decided not to sell Pakistan its new Scorpion class diesel submarines, because they were already being sold to India, and France was trying to pursue a closer relationship with India. Germany was more open to a deal, to sell Pakistan the Type 214 submarine. But this deal was eventually scrapped as well, due to a shortage of government funding in Pakistan as a result of the 2008 global financial crisis. Starting in 2011, as the economy recovered, the Navy renewed its efforts to acquire new submarines. And this time, Pakistan has the option of buying from China, an increasingly powerful and close ally. In October 2015, the Pakistan government announced a final decision to purchase eight new submarines from China. This was an important agreement for the Pakistan Navy, which has not seen the same amount of investment as the Pakistan Army and Air Force. The deal was also important for China, as one of the country's largest weapons export deals to date. Both China and Pakistan have been officially silent about the specific class of submarine being considered, but little snippets of information here and there point strongly to the Chinese S-26, which is an export version of the Type 39B. According to NATO, they are called the Yuan class. The Type 39B is one of the most advanced diesel-electric attack submarine in the Chinese Navy. Among other things, they have Air Independent Propulsion, or AIP for short, which makes them far more stealthy on long voyages than traditional diesel boats. The contract included eight submarines, four are to be built in China, most likely in Wuhan along the Yangtze River, where the vast majority of Chinese diesel submarines were built. The other four boats will be built in the Karachi shipyard in Pakistan. The first boat can be expected to enter service as early as 2023, and the last one in 2028. They will be named the Hangor class. We do know some basic details about the submarines. The Pakistan version of the S-26 is slightly different to the standard S-26 advertised by the China Shipbuilding Trading Corporation. For example, they will be larger. The Pakistan version of the S-26, or the Hangor class, is expected to displace 2,800 tons submerged slightly more than the 2,550 tons of the standard S-26. The Hangul class is 76 meters long, 9 meters wide, with a drought of 6.2 meters. The top speed is 18 knots underwater, slightly slower than the 20 knots of the Yuan class. The maximum diving depth is 300 meters. 
the boats should feature rescue capsules to increase the survivability for the crew in case of emergency. The propulsion system has not been finalized, but it is likely to be Chinese engines. My own assessment is that the diesel engines will be the same as that on the Type 39B, which I believe are three of the Shanxi diesel engines, which are a licensed or reverse engineered version of the German MTU 16V 396 marine engines. The AIP system should also be the domestic Chinese Stirling AIP engine, developed by the China Shipbuilding and Industry Corporation in 1998. The engines should be powering a single shaft with one asymmetrical seven-bladed skewed propeller. By the way, if you enjoyed our video so far, please press the like button. As a bit of context, there has been some complications in the diesel engines for the Hangu class. The original plan was to install German diesel engines from the German company MTU. But the German government has not approved the necessary export license. So this most likely will not happen. According to news reports from Indian sources, the Pakistan Navy does not really want to use Chinese diesel engines and really wanted the German ones. So this could spell trouble for the submarine deal. However, I have not found any official Pakistan sources saying the same thing. If anybody from Pakistan knows about the issue the Navy is having with Chinese submarine engines, please let me know. In my view, China has already demonstrated the ability to build domestic submarine diesel engines in the construction of both the Type 39 Song class and the Type 39A and B. So the lack of foreign submarine engines shouldn't logically impact on the submarine performance of the Hangu class, so long as the export's customers, including Pakistan, are comfortable on a psychological level. As I mentioned before, the Hangu class is expected to have Air Independent Propulsion, or AIP for short. AIP is essentially an extra power plant that does not require the submarine to surface or snorkel in order to run. This means a submarine with AIP can remain underwater for much longer but at the cost of traveling much slower than on battery power, typically at around 5 to 10 knots. The Stirling AIP engines sold on the international markets tends to be toned down and less powerful versions of the original engines used by the submarine forces of their countries of origin. According to the Chinese media, China originally imitated the exports version of the Swedish Stirling engine in the 1990s. But the Chinese version of the Stirling engine has been improved over time to have a much greater power output and fuel efficiency than the original Swedish engines, and also the ones available on international markets. China remains very secretive about the capability of its submarine technology. But it is fair to say that the AIP used in the Type 39B is more capable than the performance of the original Swedish Gotland class submarines in the 1990s. While the Gotland class can stay underwater for something like two weeks, the Chinese Yuan class and the S26 exports variant may well be able to achieve about two and a half weeks underwater. In comparison, a diesel submarine running solely on battery power will need to surface every two to three days, depending on power consumption. Basically, the Stirling AIP engine makes the Hangu class stealthier on longer voyages, because the frequency of its having to surface is reduced, and a submarine is of course most at risk of being detected well surfaced. 
armament consists of the standard six 533mm heavyweight torpedo tubes. They should be able to fire both torpedoes and cruise missiles and deploy naval mines. The specific type of weapon is unknown at this time, but they might be the export version of the Chinese U-6 torpedo. They are believed to be similar to the US Navy's Mark 48 torpedoes. The Hangul class may also use an improved version of the CM-708 submarine-launched cruise missile, known as the CM-708 UMB. They are an export derivative of the Chinese YJ-82. This subsonic weapon has a range of 290 kilometers, so it is compliant with the missile technology control regime, an international treaty that, among other things, limits the range of exported missiles. The Hangul class is not expected to have vertical launch cells, so it won't be able to fire cruise missiles in a large salvo. Overall, the weapons outfit of the Hangul class is not clear at this stage, and it is entirely possible for the submarines to be modified to use domestic Pakistani torpedoes and missiles. For example, a submarine-launched variant of the Barber land attack cruise missile. The Pakistan Navy has not said anything about how it will configure the Hangul submarines in terms of sonars, sensors, and other electronic systems. In theory, it could equip the Hangul along similar lines to the upgraded Agostar 90B, so as to leverage the commonality in training, integration, and maintenance. However, Importing the necessary equipment from Western countries, like France, might be difficult due to geopolitical factors. And the Pakistan Navy also wants to keep things affordable. So it will probably choose the available Chinese sonars, sensors, and combat systems for the Hangul. On the Chinese Type 39B, the standard sonar suite consists of a bow-mounted medium-frequency sonar for active and passive searching, and a pair of the HSQG-207 flank sonar array for passive searching. The HSQG-207 is a line of individual hydrophones mounted to the sides of the hull, and is designed to provide long-range detection against noisy surface warships. They are most effective in deeper waters. Lastly, the system is further enhanced with the integration of a domestic Chinese passive ranging sonar on board, designated as the HSQG-04 sonar. That's all being said, the S-26 is much smaller than the original Type 39B, so the Hangul class may not have the room to accommodate older sonars. For example, there might not be the room to include the HSQG-207 flank sonar array, but we will have to wait and see. The Hangul class submarines are important acquisitions for the Pakistan Navy in terms of addressing the regional imbalance in maritime security. If the capabilities of the Chinese Type 39B are anything to go by, the Hangul class should be very stealthy and pose a credible deterrence against a numerically superior adversary. Traditionally, confrontation between surface fleets tends to favor the side with the greater firepower. But submarines always had the potential to inflict large losses against a quantitatively superior opponent. The Hangul class should be instrumental for a smaller Pakistan navy to maintain an asymmetric balance of power of some sort versus a larger Indian navy.